Okay, this is a uh, snapshot of the uh, online album designer as of uh, February 6, 2014. Um, first, I'm going to create an account. We're going to create a silly name here. Uh, Donald Duck. This password is 12345. And I reckon his email will be kalletankeboy.se and he's going to agree to our policy and submit. And um, he's logged in and he's going to create his first album, uh, which we'll call, yeah, Wedding Album is a good choice. So, um, I'm going to fetch some images from a uh, Dropbox account. Uh, just get all of these. And I'm just fetching the thumbnails right now. You notice I haven't checked this button here. Also import high-res files. Uh, you need to do that later if you want to export real spreads. <coughs> there we go. Now we have 46 thumbnails. And no high res files as you see. And now I can look at my thumbnails here and I can start creating uh, spreads. And here I can change uh, templates, I can swap images around. And I can zoom in. And save that one, and um, uh, it's also a responsive design. So when you change the size of the browser window, the uh, canvas, <coughs> the current spread here, is also enlarged. So just we'll just create a few spreads here. Just for fun, we'll drag, test the system, see how how it fares with uh, choosing templates. Well, you still see there are lots of different temp templates to choose from. And if you want to flip the layout, you can do that with the horizontal flip. Uh, or you can do a vertical flip. So it should be quite easy for you to create an album to show to your customers. If they like it, you can go ahead and fine tune it. There we go, close it, then you're back uh, here at the album manager, and now you have three spreads. Uh, and you can export this album, but then you need the high resolution files first, so you need to upload those, and I'm not on a good internet connection, I'm sitting in Gran Canaria right now. Um, <clears throat> you can also download the project file there, it's the wedding albums uh, project file and that's going to be used for recreating the spreads uh, as Photoshop files on your computer. So you just need to start up a script, uh, give it the project file and the folder where your high res images are and then it will create the spreads for you. Uh, in, in Photoshop format, so you can use that with, for instance, Pro Album Designer. Um, I'll just show you what the export section looks like. Um, here you can choose different albums. So QT 2525 is perfectly square, as you see. The Soul album isn't perfectly square, so there's going to be a ver <coughs> bit of vertical stretching. But the stretching is uh, not for the photos, it's only the layout, so the template holds get stretched about one and a half percent. Uh, it'll be barely noticeable. Um, if I try to export here, I'll get a warning uh, or error that there's no high res files for uh, the pictures that I just played with, so I'll just close this and come back. And um, that's um, the brief overview of the online album designer as of February the 6th, 2014.